All right, guys, welcome back to another Itch.io free-to-play walkthrough. Today we're going to do something a little bit different. I kind of happened upon this jump scare juice jam, and all the games seem to be like browser um, short games. So I'm going to try to play through them all, and then you guys can, if you want, come here and rate them. I'll leave a link to this in the description where you can find the games. I already played this one, but I'll play it again as well. It kind of got me. I'll do that one first since I've already played through it and I know how to beat it. Um, but this is Hidden Eyes by People. James Gatago, James Hector and Tina. I usually don't like browser games, but they all well, they look pretty short from what I saw. I played this is the only one I actually played, but they are all like little browser games, so I'm assuming they're all kind of short. I'll probably rate them myself as well, but if you disagree with me, you can stop in and leave them a different rating. Aha. Do, 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 do. I got the key. Boop. And a boop. Yay. Run while you still can. I'll probably talk about why I rate a game the way I did as well, so you can kind of. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I already seen that one. I think that, that kind of reminds. I don't know what that's from, to be honest. Looks like something that'd be like from Itchy the Killer or something, something, something though, with all the slit open mouth and whatnot. The end. I gave this one a 3 out of 5, so you can go up here and rate the game if you want to find it, and then you can go to the submissions um, by going to the link that I'll post in my thing. Like this. Alright, what do we play next? Let's play the Expedition next. It's a point and blank, click mystery game, and we'll try to do it. Uh, boom. Run game. Ah. Hopefully I don't run into one where I can't beat it because I'm sure some of these are hard. There isn't much. You awake with no memories in a wooden cabin with a blizzard howling outside. Uncover what has happened and try to escape. And it's by Summy99. Alright. Nice, I picked up a knife. That's sick. This hook is very sharp. There are traces of small, some brown fluish, wait, brownish fluid on, I can't read it. Oh, look at that. Boat people. What's up, boat people? We turn up the volume a little bit so you guys can get the full effect of the scare as well. I'm not the only one getting jump scared. Oh, look, it's a tent. What is this, the thing or something? Kind of looks like... I don't feel like going back to sleep. All right, man. Can't even try to open this key without a key. There is no handle. What about this knife? Boom. Okay. Um... Where can I find the key at? Oh, there we go. There we go. Now we're cooking with Chris. Okay, this door's locked too. Just banging on the door, bro. These planks were applied hastily, but they're solid. I'll need a tool to remove them. Do I want to remove them? I don't know, man. I can't open it. Who lit this? This fire is warm and has plenty of wood. God save us. Is this blood? <laughs> yeah. I find it difficult to look away. Is it looking at me? I don't know. Knife it, dude. Ah, book. Great. I can throw that into the fireplace. It'll be awesome. The Necronomicon. What's that thing? A doll. Sick. The window cannot be opened. Not that I'd want to. The door is stuck and probably can It cannot be opened. Possibly due to the blizzard. Oh, we're back. Oh, thank God. Oh, baby. Let's go. Wow. Goodness gracious, dude. That took me years to find out. Wow. That was awful, actually. Key fits perfectly. Dyers, if you found this note, that means you've come too. I've had to hide it from them. You may be experiencing memory memory loss, so allow me to catch you up. You are a doctor of occult studies at Miskatonic University in Arkham, Massachusetts. You were recruited for the Pobody Expedition to Antarctica. This is where you are now, I think. Locations are getting a bit fuzzy ever since we found that infernal book. I have to hurry now. They are coming. You need to escape. The book contains spells. There may be something good, you, something you can use. God help you, Atwood. Well, damn, Atwood. That's not super hopeful, my dude. Well, we can open the thing now. Thank goodness. Let's get out of here. The banging has stopped, but the silence is palpable. Oh, hell. 
Get him, book of possession. I need something like this fire, actually. Is there a way out of here? Oh, fuck. Okay. Nice. We're doing it. There we go. There we go. Hell yeah. What? What is this? Yahweh, do a dumbbella. Let's open this bad boy up. Let's see what we got. The elder sign. I can somehow understand these words now. But it feels like they're alive. It feels as though every syllable is white hot. Auger. Warning into my retinas. The elder sign. The elder sign is a protective glyph that has the power to ward off monstrous beings. It is said that the power is what holds the great old ones prisoner. Nice, that's a good sign. The great of Yogg-Sothoth. Yogg-Sothoth. The gate was often utilized by the elder things for the traversing great distances in an instant. Its creation. It's so simple. One must first create the sigil exactly as shown. Then the incantation must be recited precisely. Ogthrod. Nuf. Gubbalognir. Yogg-Sothoth. Nagnamana. Zero. I, I think this is my exit ticket, but what will I use to create the cliff? I don't know, dude. How the hell am I supposed to know? The fuck? Can I move these symbols or something? Take the doll! You want the doll, right? You like the doll. What will I use to make the cliff? I don't know. <laughs> Oh, hell, did I cut myself? Okay. That's how we do it. Yeah, right, bud? We cut ourselves. Am I dead? Mixatonic University eventually sent a search party. Despite knowing eventually where the expedition was planned to explore, they could not find no traces of... They could find no traces of the cabin or ship. However, they did find a mysterious book in the snow. And for you, well, there is no you anymore. You aren't dead exactly. You simply don't exist anymore. At least not in a traditional sense. I guess that's the ending. Um, yeah, I guess that's the ending. I don't know if I got the full ending, but screw it. We did it! Yay! Alright, let's rate it. This game was actually insanely hard. <laughs> like, that was hard. Uh, there wasn't much of a scare. But yeah, I'll give it a... That gets a 3 out of 5, too. They've all been the 2 3 out of 5 so far. Check the other games. If I find another game like that one, though, there's going to be a lot of editing because I got so stuck on that place, like, bad. What next? Let's go lighthearted with Cab Carrot Mischief. All right. Whoa, bunny with no brim. What's that mean? I'm excited. All right. This doesn't have a full screen button. Click to feed the bunny. Hi, right, Bunny. You're gonna have to work harder. Bunny, what are we doing here? Why are you throwing that like a ding dong? Well, I was, I guess, closer. Bro, I don't understand what's going on here. There we go. Yeah, we go. Too easy, fam. Here, son of a. Send it. What are you doing? Oh my god, dude. Aim the carrot. Please. I don't even know how you control this. I'm just kind of clicking and hoping it goes in the right direction. Send it. Oh my god, dude. Right here. Yes. What is this? Oh, this is toxic as hell. Bro, he just throwing it wherever the fuck he wants to. This is a one. There you go. Sorry. <laughs> I hate to be that guy, but that was... Uh, I was doing something wrong, probably, but... Instructions not clear. Dick... Mm. <laughs> Dick stuck in a fan. Mm -mm -mm. Alright. Now we have... Hero. Sure. Heroes HIO page. How do we do this one? 
This one has to expand the screen thing. Yay. Oh, I am a hero. How do I uh, uh, there we go. What the fuck? What is going on? The point and click was scary and it definitely had like a better story and everything. I'd say that's probably the most complete game was the point and click adventure that was all Cthulhu and stuff. Even though I'm not too happy with how it ended. Maybe there's multiple endings of that one. I doubt it. Just because it's a browser game, I doubt there's multiple endings. It was hard though. God, it was hard to figure out how to use. Please! Did we do it? Why is it? I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, fuck. Okay. That might be the best jump scare. That one got me. That one got me. Okay. All right. That one probably actually had the legitimately like the best jump scare. That okay. Uh, for just because this is a jump scare thing, I'm giving that a four out of five. Even though the Cthulhu game was a better game, that one actually had a jump scare. That scared me. <laughs> that got me so bad. My heart. Okay. Let's play. Let's play Omen next. They're all using this construct thing. I hate browser games though. Cause like if you have to use your arrow keys to navigate, it moves your web page and everything. And it's hard to get them like full screens. Like some of them don't go full screen. This one doesn't even look like it's gonna load. Please. Alright, we might be skipping this one. I'll give it one more try. If it doesn't load this time, it's on its own. Play something else. Yeah, that one ain't loading. Okay. Next! Escape the Maze! Somebody else is playing all these games too. Spoilers. My Ness. Find the key, and then find the exit, and escape through it safely. Beware, something is after you, so be on alert and be fast. What am I doing? I'm... Am I dead? <laughs> Sick. Key. Nice. Is it pointing this way? Does it want me to go this way? Okay, I'm going. Oh hell, that's a blocked door. Oh baby! Okay. <laughs> that was weird. Okay, that's locked. And I'm gonna die again, alright. Oh, he's coming for me. Oh, I did it! I'm freaking... I'm a madman, dude. That was so fast. Alright. Yeah, that one didn't have a jump, real jump scare either. Ah, uh, three out of five. Ah, uh, it didn't have a jump scare, and it really didn't have the ghost was kind of two out of five. Kill <laughs> day. Uh, it wasn't like a super jump scare like that hero one. That one got me, and it just didn't have much to it really. Uh, it wasn't awful, but it wasn't good either. And it just it doesn't seem like it fit the thing too well. Submissions. Alright, what have we not played yet? Omen didn't work for me. Let's play the witch. Alright. The witch by Carb Gene 2005. You will see your fate predicted before your eyes. If it loads. And I will leave a link to all these games in the description like I always do. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. Oh gosh. Honestly, this isn't going to be like as long as a video as I think it's going to be because once I remove all the stuff when I was trying to do that point and click, it shouldn't be too bad. Are you ready to get frightening on what you are about to... What? Are you ready to get frightening on what you are about to experience? Are you ready for me to predict the most your most horrible fate in life? I guess. Oh, hit me with it. Well then, hello there, Cube. Funny seeing you after the murder. You're confused. No wonder you would end up here. Well, goodbye for now. What? Oh, she's fading out, but I'm stuck, dog. Okay, there's a mirror. Boom. Oh, is it bleeding at me? It's like that epic video. What is this place? Oh, this is getting wild, dude. Look at these things. They're creepy as hell. Alright. What is that thing splashing around that? It's blood -a. 
Oh, you son of a bitch. Oh. <laughs> you son of a bitch. The witch have predicted your fate before you knew it. Well, as I predicted, you're a murder. So that one needed some grammar, but it did get me. So that one gets a 4 out of 5 as well. <laughs> that was pretty... Wow. Okay, that was pretty good. I wish that, that was a game. Whatever's going on up there, that looks scary. That little gif, that's terrifying. Let me see if I can zoom in so y'all can see that thing. That thing is scary as hell looking. I don't know what's going on in that thing, but it's scary. For sure. That's terrifying, actually. Alright, what we got next? We've tried the omen, that didn't work for me. Boggled a creep Kingsfield po creepypasta. Alright, we got three games left. Kisaragi Station. Excuse me. This one is a visual novel by Pishmans. Pishmans! Afterwards, press to continue. Listen to this. Okay, I'll listen to that next. Don't press space till you finish reading. Might be my imagination, but do you mind if I talk to you about something? Or go ahead, what happened? Maybe I did something wrong. God, I hate. Oh, I'm supposed to read all this. Might just be my imagination, but do you mind if I talk to you about something, Rim Ipsura? Sure, go ahead, what happened? I just got on the train, but something's off. It's a train I always take to and from work, but it hasn't stopped at any stations for about 20 minutes now. It always stops every five minutes or at most every so every seven or eight, but it hasn't stopped at all. There are currently five other people on board. But they're all asleep. You haven't gotten off the train yet. You didn't get on the express by mistake. Yeah, like you said, oh, I need to scroll this all the way down. Wait a second, I went too far. Yeah, like you said, it's possible I got on the wrong train. I'll wait just a little longer. If anything weird else weird happens, I'll come back again. First of all, why don't you go to the front carriage and see the conductor? If he has an epileptic fit or something, that would be terrible. Go and check on him. Still doesn't look like we're going to stop anywhere, so I'll have go and have a look. The blinds or something are covering the window, so I can't see the driver. I'm on a private railway in Shizuko Prefecture. Did you knock on the w window? I did, but there was no answer. Can you see it out? Can you see outside? Can you see the names? <sighs> Can you see the names of passing stations or anything? After leaving the tunnel, the rain has started to slow down a little. We don't usually pass through a tunnel, though. It's the train from Shin Hanamatsu Station. It looks like we're about to stop. You're not going to get off, are you? We're stopped at Kisaragi Station, but I wonder if I should get off. I've never seen or heard of this station before. You should get off. No, you should stay until the last stop. I mean, the train should have started moving by now. again by now, wouldn't it? Ask me, what time did you get on the train? I got off the station. Station. It's empty. I got on the train around 11.40 p.m., I think. I did a search on Kisaragi Station, but nothing came up. And hang on, your train's been running for an hour now? All right, I'm off to take a bath. I looked for Kisaragi Station as well, but there's nothing here. I think I should go back. I've been looking for t a timetable, but I can't find anything. The train is still stopped, so I wonder if it would be safer to just get back on. While well, I was riding that... I already got back on board. Are there any buildings nearby that look like they might have people? It's cold out there, so be careful. I'm going to leave the station and see if I can find a taxi. Thanks. I'm doubtful that you'll be easily be able to find a taxi and an empty station after the train last train have already run. And it looks like Hasumi's become a resident of the 2D world. There's nothing here, let alone a taxi. What should I do? Go see the station attender or nearby police box. Shouldn't you call 110 for now? Why don't you call the taxi company? All you can do is, at this point is go to the nearest convenience store. If there's a public phone nearby, you should look up the number of the taxi company and give them a call. I call my parents to come and pick me up, but they don't know where Kisaragi Station is. They said they'd look it up on the map and then come to get me, but I'm kind of scared. What happened to the others on the train? Were you the only one who got off? Hasumi also tried to find Kisaragi Station on the internet, but there's nothing to hear. You said you're near Shin Hanamatsu, right? I'll see if I can find anything on Yahoo. 
I went to look for a public phone, but there aren't any. But the other passengers didn't get off, so I'm at, I'm alone right now. The station name is most definitely Kisaragi Station. There's a chance you'll find a public phone off the station grounds. Why don't you leave the station? I just did a bit of investigating right now, and the kanji for Oni, Demon, can also be read as Kisaragi, right? So you mean Demon Station? That's terrifying. Are you a video game nerd? When I googled it, I found a video game. Write down the previous and next stations for Kisaragi Station. Don't say there's nothing written there. I'm so confused. Some of the grammar's getting wild. What great game are you talking about? There are no previous or next stations written here. Try walking back home along the tracks. If you start running now, you'll probably catch up with the train. It's a station, so there's got to be people living around there. Yeah, that's right. I was panicking, so I didn't even notice. I'll follow the tracks back and wait for my parents to call. I tried looking before in the town information part of of I mode in my phone, but it came up with some kind of error. I just want to go home. Whether it's a joke or not, I'm going to walk towards solving this. Work towards solving this seriously. There really is nothing around here. All I can see are grasslands and mountains. But if I follow the railway tracks. I think I can get home, so I'll do my best, thank you. You might think it's all just been one big joke, but can I come back if I run into any other problems? Of course. At any rate, take care. Of course. Oh, 2 chains like 4chan, I got you. I was wondering why all these messages were all like kind of destroyed and stuff. Of course, just be careful your phone doesn't die. It's your life flowing right now. Don't start walking on the wrong direction. Be careful inside the tunnel. Can a phone even get reception in an area with nothing around? I think it would be better if you don't move from, from the station. All alone at unmanned station at, on a cold night, the lights will probably turn off soon and it'll be dark. The railway tracks are an even darker trap. There's a tunnel after that too, right? And yet, it, I would probably be safer to find the night at the station. Spend the night at the station. This is terribly risky. My father called. He had a lot of questions, but in the end, we have no idea. He, he we have no idea where I am, so he tried to call me, told me to call 110. I don't really want to, but I'm going to give the police a call and see if they can help me. I think it would be easier for you to move around once it gets brighter. Could you really wait out there all alone at night in some strange, unfamiliar place? Could you, it's a lot of reading. Could you pass through the tunnel all alone at night or some strange, unfamiliar railway track? So could you? Keep walking through unfamiliar streets at night in the cold. I tried to explain my situation the best I could to the police, but they thought it was a joke and got angry at me. I was so scared that I ended up apologizing to them. Why did you apologize? You should call it a night. Go at the station, wait for the first train. What's it like around the station? Is there anything there? I can hear what sounds like beating of drums coming from far away, mixed with the sound of a ringing bell. Honestly, I don't know what I should do anymore. Why did you, oh. Possibly, you need to get back to the station. It's best to return where you were in the first place when you got lost. It's about to start. Drums and bells, it's probably just a festival. You might think I'm lying, but I'm so scared. I can't look back. I want to go back to the station, but I just can't turn back. Run, whatever you do, don't look back. You can't look back at the station. You'll be taken away. Just run towards the tunnel right now. It should be closer than you think. Someone just yelled out from behind me, Hey, you can't be walking on the railway track. It's dangerous. I thought it might be the station attendant, so I turned around, and about 10 meters there was an old guy with the one leg standing there. Then he disappeared. I'm so scared I can't move. I said, don't look back. Just run. Calm down. Listen to what I have to say. Try going towards the sound of the drums. There should be people there. Just where are you trying to send Hasmi? That's not it at all. Hasmi is about to be taken away. That's why... I why I'm saying if she can, she could go back. She should go back. How come you could tell it was an old, old guy with just one leg because it's an old guy with just one leg? Probably some guy that was hit by a train and lost his leg and died. I can't walk anymore, but I can also can't run. The sound of drums is getting closer. Just wait for morning. Once it gets brighter, it won't be so scary. You should have gotten back on the train. I'm still alive. I fell over and I'm bleeding, but I still holding on to the hill I broke. I don't want to die yet. Well, it's not like they're... things were getting going to get better if you stayed in that one spot anyway. I think you'll be fine. You can get through the tunnel anyhow. When you pass through, let us know and get some help. 
I called home. My dad said he called police for me, but I, the sound is coming closer and closer. Well, let's just pray. The sound isn't the sound of an approaching train. Haven't said that. It's probably just too late for that now. I did my best, and I'm somehow in front of the tunnel now. The name is says Isanuki. The sound is getting closer, so I'm going, going to gather up all my courage and try to get through. I'll post again once I get to safety. Good luck. This is the end. The train and the station are gone. You can't go back. There's no one to follow. The sound you hear is a phantom of your own past. Run towards the tunnel. If you stop, you'll just get stuck between worlds. I've exited the tunnel. Someone's standing just ahead of me. Looks like doing what you guys suggested was the right answer. Thank you. I'm probably going to be mistaken for a monster. My face is, is a mess of tears. Trust me, wait, don't move. Stop, it's dangerous. Who would be standing there at such a time? It's too suspicious. Sorry for making you worry. That person was very kind and said they would take me to the closest station. Apparently there's a business hotel or something there. Everyone, thank you so much. Asumi, there's something I want to ask you, so please answer. Where are you now? Where are you? You ask that kind person the name. Are they really kind? They could be scarier than what's going on here, you know? Yeah, maybe. Anywhere. Where the hell are you? That person is dangerous. Why is someone on the railroad tracks at this time of night? They must have run into you while disposing of a dead body or something. Run. I asked where we are, but he just said, Hina. There's no way that could be true, though. Kasumi, get out of the car. I'm sorry, Kasumi. Where is Hina? What a strange story. So this particular time, some suspicious old guy just happened to be there to pick up a girl walking on railroad tracks? What was he doing? We started getting closer to the mountains now. I don't think there's anywhere for the car to stop, and he stopped talking to me entirely. There's no reason for even a strange old dude to be up at this time. Maybe he's not talking to you anymore because he... You're always on your phone. Hasumi, you're in danger. Did you, did you tell your parents to come and get you from the tunnel? Hasumi, call 110. This might be the last time you ever write anything. My battery's about to die. Things are looking strange. So, I'm going to try to run the first chance I get. He's been muttering about something I can't understand for a while now. Just so I'm ready when, I, when need to be. I'm going to make this my last post for now. Is that it? Okay, space key. I don't know what this is. I don't know what's up with your PC ran into a problem, blah, 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 blah. I don't know what that means. I just know it counts forever. But that's the story, I guess. I don't think there's anything else. Um, I'll put this in the video. I was going to probably leave it out, but... The Disappearing Railroad is the train that was supposed to turn. Empty music that can't be heard. Even the letters. Begin to dance in the station. Today, from there, a person came out. Like this, being nosy, like a fool. Pretending to understand, and do nothing. Since that day, I've stopped moving. Today, too, I'm here in this place. No one will see me. No one could chase me. Step over the rail. So as to remain out of sight, I cast my gaze downwards. Today too shall rain. January 8, 2004, 11 p.m. I don't know if such a ch wait a second, go back. Go back. What are you doing? Getting all wild. Finally, God, this thing keeps popping in my way. Get out of the way. It's finally stopped. Just what kind of place is this? I don't know if such a train station. I want to get out of here. The distant sun. Where is this place? I looked around and saw. There's nothing. There's nothing. There shouldn't be. That is, so then, somehow, ever so slightly, they are facing towards it. So then, I closed my mouth, wanting to hear it. I look that way. The truth is, I wish to go out to meet someone, so, ah oh well then. Good night. No one will see me. That phone thing kind of freaked me out. No one can chase me. Step over to the station so as to be seen again. They cast their gaze downwards. Today too shall rain. Where have I disappeared to? 
So that you won't come. I thought it stopped it. With all my strength. And she disappeared. Got her. Translation. Rainfall to tell her. Subtitles cost me. Translation check. Something something. Alright. So this game didn't really have a scare. The story was kind of spooky. I'm going to rate it probably a 3 out of 5. Just because it didn't really follow the premise. I don't know what that counting error is supposed to be. But it got all the way to 400%. So we'll give it a 3. You're a 3. Alright. Next game. Yeah, I waited for something to happen at that loading screen because I kind of hit the space key without reading it at first, so. More reading! Boggle to Kingsfield Creepypasta. This creepypasta based on the real From Software game Kingsfield with creepy ASMR by me. My pronouns are she, her. If you speak ill of me, I will send my finest nights to the Pontiff Salvian's Plaza. I think that's a uh, Dark Souls reference. Left click or press buttons on the key skeleton to fight. Too easy, I guess. We'll see what happens. Ooh, we're almost to the end. That was a lot of reading for that one. The train station? Jeez. I don't like the cliffhanger. I got the newest game monthly. You're so quiet. I got the new uh, I got the newest gamer monthly in the mail and looked at all the upcoming games for the Sony PlayStation. In it, there was a picture of two skeletons with the caption, The PlayStation can produce mind-boggling effects. What a joke. But I liked Ultima a lot, so I asked my cousin Jerry to import the game so I could play it in the States. Back in the 1990s, it was easier to than dark. But Jerry found a way. I opened up my PlayStation and popped in the disc. Holy shit was I blown away. I Holy mean, I wasn't shit. Bothered, but it was a fully 3D action RPG. I couldn't believe it. All the boys in high school chess club would be so jealous. Especially Ryan, who only has a Sega Saturn. I didn't know much Japanese. Jarring. But that didn't stop me from slashing up some mummies and skeletons. Skeleton. Yes, I saw skeletons. No, I wasn't bog. Oh. I somehow made it to floor three of the underground complex and started fighting wicked, tough, faceless golems. But they're pretty slow. Quiet. No, she's so quiet. Please. I can't hear you. I turned a corner to find the golem. This golem had a face. What the heck? It was all melted but uncomfortably human-like. Even the humans in this game didn't have faces. So what gives from software? I tried to defeat him. But all he did was stop and make these annoying death sounds. But the scariest part of all, I sold it later on eBay for $100. Happy Halloween, ha 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 ha. jump scare and the ASMR I couldn't hear it I don't know if y'all could hear it I turned up the volume so y'all could hopefully hear it but I couldn't hear it so I think it was a neat idea that she had but uh, not for me 2 out of 5 still not as bad as that one what What was the one that got a 1 out of 5 <laughs> carrot mischief that was terrible alright and that one doesn't work so alright last one boys 2 
Uh, grab your spaceship and go on an adventure through the endless wave of asteroids. Use your left mouse button to control and fly your ship. I might have to give that Cthulhu game a 4 out of 5, even though it didn't have a jump scare. Oh, that scared me. Boy. Fucking alarm, dog. That just scared the shit out of me. Yeah, I'll probably give that Cthulhu game a 4 out of 5 as well, because that was definitely the, like, overall best game. Even though it didn't really have, like, a super jump scare. So. Yeah. That's the left mouse button to start and fly the ship. Oh, hail. Oh, it's like Flappy Bird? Oh, it's Flappy Bird. I'm so good at Flappy Bird. Yeah, baby. The ship looks like a freaking squid. Yeah, I'm pretty good at Flappy Bird, actually. Oh, I can't wait for this to get so loud. It's already, the music's already loud, so I can't wait for the jump scare that's like amazing. What if I made? Can you make it to the end? I don't know, let's see. That wasn't too jump scare horrific. The hell is that? Patterns of RNG on difficulty, because that was like probably the hardest thing I've seen so far. Is that four lined up? Damn. Sick. I'm the best, dude. To a thousand points, can I get to a thousand, please? Mm -hmm. I got, I got to a thousand. All right, thanks for watching, guys. That's it. <sighs> yeah, that one gets about a two out of five as well. Basically, Fappy Bird with a kind of weak scare. All right, guys, we made it to the end somehow. <laughs> the only game we couldn't play was the Omen game. I don't know why that one didn't work, but yeah. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I don't know if I'll do more like this because it's kind of so random on what kind of games you get by going to a jump scare jam. And I honestly don't know if the jam allows you to do this. I'm going to post it in their comments in the community thing. And I'm sure they'll let me know if I messed it up. They'll be like, you idiot, you're not supposed to play these all these games and talk about them and stuff. It's like too late. Too late. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.